guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the mentorship corner my name is Sibiyan Omtandazo if you are new to my channel welcome welcome don't forget to like share and most importantly do not forget to subscribe right um if you're already a subscriber and part of my notification gang welcome welcome back guys welcome back to the family um to everyone who's joining us for the first time welcome to the family um on this channel we help you plan and organize your life so that you can can end up living the best life of your dreams basically um we all want to live an organized life we all want to live a well-planned life so i walk you guys through it um using my own tips that i've learned um and gained throughout my experience because naturally i am an over planner so you know who else could teach you how to help and plan organize your life and also manage your time better but me right um anyways that's not what i'm doing uh, for today's video i'm gonna be talking about um reviewing and reflecting on your goals right so um before i even get right into it um guys at the beginning of the year i did a video on how to plan and organize your life and then i showed you guys how to set goals and then i showed you guys how to build a vision board and actually have an action plan for all your goals right those are all the important videos i'm going to actually link them um up here somewhere as the video goes along for you to check them out if you haven't done so already but on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to review your goals for the first three months of the year right so over the first three months of the year we are going to review and check if we've achieved all the goals we had intended to achieve in the first three months right and then we are gonna decide okay fine what are we doing for the next three months of the year right so before we even you know get too far let's get right into it before we do you want to grab your pen and paper and make sure you have it you know on hand so that you want to make uh, so that you can make notes as we go right along so i'll give you a minute to just go and grab a pen and paper you can pause the video and then you can come back and we'll continue with the video right okay so our video is going to be divided into three sections it's basically the three tips that i'm going to be sharing with you guys today so the first tip is basically you need to review your goals so you need to take go back and look at your yearly goals and then look at your three monthly goals and your monthly goals and then you want to go and tick off all the goals that you have achieved right um under every sphere of your life so i remember when i did my goals i showed you guys the eight important parts of your life or important spheres of your life that you can actually work around in order for you to draft down your goals for the year successfully then you want to go back and look at those eight parts again and then you want to look at the goals underneath each sphere of your life and you want to make sure that you understand how you broke them down and then you want to tick off all the ones that you have achieved right so that's the first step you want to tick off all the ones that you have achieved and then you want to leave the ones you haven't achieved on the side right and then the second step oh am i having three the second step um yeah the second step is basically for you to um have a look at your action plan right so when i showed you how to plan your goals i also showed you how to build your own action plan so you want to go back and have a look at your action plan and see if that is still in line with the goals that still need to be achieved in your life right if that's not in line you are more than welcome to adjust and improve on a thing or two on your action plan so that it accommodates the person you're becoming and accommodates the stage that you are in your life at this point in time you know so that you can you know okay fine for the next three months this is what we're doing and this is what will work because you've reviewed it and you've readjusted it right to align it with where you are and you know your purpose in this the first in the next three months of your life right so once that has been done we are going to move to the third step right so the third step is basically to adjust and improve and redraft your action plan and your goals for the next three months so how you do this last step is basically you need the first step which is how the reviewing of your goals right and then the second step which was the uh goodness me let's start again you have the first step which was the reviewing of your goals right and then you've got your second step which second second step which was your reviewing of your action plan so you want to take these two 
compare combine and then build your next action plan and goal setting for the next three months of the year so you don't need to change your goals if it's not necessarily if it's not necessary for you to change them but your action plan you're most likely going to need to improve it or adjust it there and there just to accommodate the type of person that you are becoming right for the next three months then you want to do that for me so those are the three steps i'm going to just like go through them again first step is you wanna review your goals right and then second step second step you want to review your action plan right and then the last and third step you want to review your review and redraft your action plan and goals for the next three months or the next quarter of the year right so what i'm going to do is this is the first three months of the year i'm going to do it again in the next three months and the next three months and then last um three months of the year as we go so that we can make sure we keep track of our goals for the year and we make sure we see at the end of the year guys we have tried to achieve as many goals on our goal board as possible if not all of them right so stay tuned because we have a bonus tip for you guys um coming up right now <laughs> okay so the last and bonus tip um i love this top guys there's something about these puffy shoulders and i just love but anyways the last and bonus tip is to basically um go back to your journal so this tip only applies to someone who journals right i'm sorry if you don't journal but unfortunately this will not apply to you <clears throat> but um what you can do alternatively is you can go back to your last year's goals compare them to this year's goals and see what you achieved and what you you know you can add on to your goals and incorporate and go forward um and then for my journaling gang hi guys <laughs> um this is the tip for you so i generally go back to my old journal and read where i was at this specific time last year or the previous year so that's the tip basically we need to not try the reason why your journal is for you to see if you are growing and it's for you it's to motivate you to grow right so you want to make sure that you use that like to the fullest like to the fullest of its ability so you want to make sure that you go back to your last year's journal and you want to read let's say maybe you want to read the first three months of the year to see emotionally mentally physically you know financially where were you in your life in your career where were you in your life are you where you wanted to be this time of the year this year or there's something that you need to change and improve right so that's basically the tip you want to go back to last year's journal read if you can read the full the full three months gladly then do it if you can't then at least read a few sections on each month to get an idea of where you were last year compared to where you are now and then you can see if there's any improvement if there is great um good job for doing that if there isn't you still have the rest of the year to make some improvements in your life right so before i love and leave you i want to say thank you so much for your continuous love and support guys the last the previous video that i posted had the most comments on all my videos and i am truly 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 grateful for that um thank you for supporting me thank you for believing in me thank you for believing in my dream and i always hope and pray that i continue to you know touch lives in a way and i continue to live in my purpose um so i love you guys a lot don't forget to like share and to subscribe and the most important thing is do these steps because i've done it the reason why i have the three steps is because i've done it before and i've been doing it for the past couple of years of my life and it's been working for me and i believe that it can work for you too um from me in the mentorship corner it's goodbye for now enjoy the rest of your week have a lovely weekend and let's not say just have a lovely weekend have a lovely life ahead guys <laughs> i love y'all bye